Okay, so you'll see I haven't done a great deal in this corner yet. I'm still working on it. Uh, but what I've done is I've added uh, the uh, the back of the uh, bridge. I've added a bit more to there. So this is my next job. So once the plaster is dry, I've given this a pack of paint and then starting to add the greenery and the grass. You can see I've started to build the embankment to the back of the layout now. Uh, it's a bit close and tight on the main line, so I can't really do a great deal. So I'm probably going to just add some sort of rock face to that part there and work my way around. Uh, you can see I've added the corner. Uh, road housed houses, got some trees, uh, the track will come around the front of that uh, and there'll be another house, the same as the houses at the back so form a river road, uh, sort of a dead end cul-de-sac uh, but I've added the plaster to the front again, I'm waiting for that to dry and I've worked my way around, I've added a bridge the road bridge going across the brown line and the branch line again that will go along the back and meet up with the town scene there so the whole of this side is really going to be quite uh, like a big town sort of city scene and the, again you got the road that's coming out of the town done nothing with the station area uh, just been concentrating on this one side at the moment uh, but that's something I do want to get done uh, work on over the Christmas period and we get some time off but as you can see the layout room is an absolute mess at the moment it's up in the loft uh, and it's really Probably the first time I've done something kind of the railway since since June, probably. Uh, I spent the last couple of weeks up here. Uh, I do like the bridge. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, and I think that looks. I think that's going to look here. It's going to look really good once it's finished. Uh, once you get rid of the shocking white of the plaster, uh, hopefully that starts to look better. But at the moment, I am waiting for the plaster to dry. So I can't do a great deal at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Uh, the like has a bad back from Terry at Glebe Road Junction. So thanks very much Terry again for uh, weathering all the locos for me. Uh, I'm going to get those running into the uh, wind now and show you what, the, what they look like. Okay so the first look I want to bring in is my class 52 okay it's been revered by Terry it's an old Lima uh, model which has been uh, DCC chipped it looks absolutely fantastic really dirty and filthy uh, like it did at the end of its service uh, and a not really nice model it's a bit noisy uh, but it is an old Lima so they won't be known for being uh, quiet runners but it's running really well now it's been chipped The I'm going to show you is my class 25. Uh, again, this has been revered by Terry. Uh, it's got uh, sound as well, so uh, to get it started up. So he's done a really nice job of revving it. Uh, again, looks really grimy, filthy. And the sound just looks really, really good. Take the, again, taking it for a closer look. Snow pad needs a bit of a dirty up a bit because I did that fix that afterwards. But uh, again, really nice job, Perry. Looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. Uh, it's really really good. Again we'll get that running again later on with something behind it. Uh so you running properly. Again another look of uh Terry's brother for me. Uh C class 419 uh luggage rear fan uh in BR blue grey. Again this is really only lightly brothered uh but 
It's a really nice livery, really nice model. This is one of my newer models I purchased from Batman. Uh, Terry's had it now for about a couple of months, but uh, looks really good. Again, I'll get this running properly uh, a bit later on in the video. But again, really nice model, nice detail, looks really good. Again, thanks very much, Terry. Done a, again, you're doing a great job. Uh, didn't want this weather too much because it's a shame because it's a really nice livery on the model. So uh, I'm really pleased with it. Again, looks really good. This is the last Lyco Road Black Terry. Uh, this is a class 43 and this really is part of my fleet. I absolutely love this uh, model. I fit it with a Southwest digital chip. So we'll get it running and started up. I've already got the sand decoder in the front, the Loco. Uh, hopefully by uh, get one for the rear one soon. Uh, it's a hundred pound time, so uh, hopefully sometime next year I'll be buying the one for the rear. Again, Terry's weathered this for me. Again, it makes it look superb. Uh, not too dirty, but it does look like it's been used. Uh, which is the sort of effects I want you daddy when it looks like pristine out the box. But again, he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, he looks the business.